I think I was um, 34, and we're sitting around with a bunch of friends of ours, and the question went around, it's like, what would you have done in your life that you didn't get a chance to do that you, you, you wish you would have done? And when it got to me, I was like, I wish I would have been a fashion designer. So we launched our company, Groom Official, and it came out of my husband and I getting married on the Grammys. And out of that particular day sprouted a company. There are whispers all the time about the things that you should be doing. You just have to jump and you have to build your wings on the way up. My advice to people would be to always have a goal or a plan but then if it doesn't go the way you think it's gonna go, it's because there may be a shortcut or there's a reason why it's not supposed to happen that way. I went to FITM at age 36 after um, completing two careers. My first career was a professional athlete. I was a um, USA track and field Olympic hopeful. Uh, I was ranked seventh in the world and I became um, their youngest national champion at Georgia Tech and went on to uh, get a silver medal at the World University Games in 97. My life was, was bigger than what I could have ever imagined. My father passed away, I, I think right after FITM debut. My dad um, helped me get through college because he was a truck driver. And the only thing I saw him in was overalls. I wanted to pay homage to him to, to show that I did see him as a, um, upscale gentleman even in overalls. Our whole thing is be bold, be authentic, and be inspiring because I think if you live in that mantra, no matter what you do, if you just do all of those things, you will be successful. People told us that it wouldn't work, or I don't know, or is it all white suits, but I'm glad to say again that we're just constantly growing and I'm just excited where we're going, where we're headed. And, uh, and that FITM is still a, a part of that, that journey. It really is possible to do anything.